Hello friends, thank you very much for joining in. Hi, this is Ganesh Nayak. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves through all trainings and development and mentoring. And I also help CFA and FRM students to clear the exam in first attempt. Now this video I have created primarily for students who have appeared for the July 2021 FRM exam, FRM level 1 exam. Now what they should do, okay? What is, what, what should you, they, how should they plan their future, okay? Now there are two, three uh, views that people have okay the first and the foremost view is that I should go for level 2 in December so today we are standing in mid of September and I should go for December uh, primarily because I have time available uh, primarily I am not uh, planning to join a job or anything so, so I can dedicate myself and go for FRM level 2 that's a very good option okay if you are not working then only you should go for FRM level 2 in December if you're if you're working then I would not suggest you to go for that okay also if you're working for if, if you're not working and you want to go for FRM level 2 in December okay then primarily the planning has to be very very good because there are 100 chapters which you might have to read twice before the exam and also you will have to uh, dedicate time to solve the question bank so it's it is primarily two and a half month proper two and a half month in which you have to complete the two readings of the 100 chapter plus solve the question bank and plus also do the mock papers so that is going to be very very time consuming on an average you'll have to dedicate at least five to six hours on a daily basis to complete that uh, uh, that flow and that question bank and then we go for the level two exam in december so that is possible but the time requirement will be heavy it will be exhaustive preparation okay and certain chapters you might have to read by Swager itself without going to any video or anything. Okay, so that is the first view that most of the students have. The second view, okay, which is more logical view, is that I will go for level two in the next May. Okay, that's the most logical thing to do. Okay, because you get some time to prepare because level two is not very straightforward. You will have to refer to Swager plus some other material in certain chapters to prepare for the content okay a lot of things which you have read in level one will directly be assumed in level two and the content will take you to the next high level one or two levels up in terms of your understanding okay so that is one part that goes in this in the favor of this decision that you can go for next may exam okay you'll get more time now should you utilize the time so january 31st will be the early bird deadline for your may 2022 exam so please make sure that at least out of 100 you should be able to complete at least 70 chapters so that you are comfortable with the content and you can take the decision by paying the fees and you have seen the content before you make that payment okay and then primarily you can start uh, solving the question bank after that this is a very very logical thing to do okay that's a second view that a lot of students have now there are some students who feel that they cannot go for the may exam they plan to go for december exam or after that so primarily uh, i don't suggest that to people until and unless there is some very serious uh, work or very serious uh, requirement that you have that you cannot go for the May exam okay so that is one reason why so if there is any if there is no requirement as such then I should I think so that you should go for May exam primarily okay because if you plan for December the next year December first of all you will break the flow of your preparation second thing you will have to read a lot of content from your FRM level 1 again because you will forget everything by the time you reach next year May you will forget a lot of concepts from level 1 which is fresh right now in your mind okay so what you should be doing now uh, what you should you have to do primarily is you will have to read a lot of level 1 and then go to level 2 content so it's going to be slight waste of time okay and also also there is no guarantee that if you get so much amount of big time you will clear the exam okay because normally the more time that you have okay you tend to become more lazy okay that's the general tendency of students okay and you generally will be able to start your preparation say by may or april or say june okay so ideally if that is going to be the case then i would suggest you go for may exam prepare properly and then give the exam if there's a clash then you can if you know there can be a clash in the may time for your job your promotion or anything make sure you read the content early and be prepared that is an easy way to do it if you know something is going to come later then you study now and prepare yourself so primarily on and on i would like to summarize for students who have cleared the exam congratulations to all of you make sure that you go for level 2 exam in the may itself do not delay the exam ideally okay don't go for december or next year that will entirely break the flow okay i hope this video helps you and helps you and guides you in your preparation 
सो थैंक यू वेरी मच गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो थैंक यू